greetings friends so let us discuss about uh, talus fractures today so before going to the fractures we should be knowing uh, why the talus is peculiar so talus is a term which is derived from talos who was a greek god who had a single vein so that was the weakness of this particular powerful god he had a single vein throughout his entire body so let us see if that alone is the reason why the talus is peculiar so if you look into the talus you can see that it makes various joints with the tibia with the navicular bone and with the calcaneum and if you look into the talar dome which makes the ankle joint on either side it has to give some articular surface for the lateral malleolus as well as the medial malleolus also so distally inferiorly and superiorly there are a lot of articular surfaces leaving minimal bone exposed for the blood to enter into the talus bone so this is the peculiarity of the talus so like when you deal with fractures we as surgeons have to take care of not to strip any particular muscle so that the blood vessels are not compromised to that particular fracture healing but in the case of talus the thing is that there are no muscles that are attached directly onto it because most of the bone has articular cartilage that is covered onto it the bone that is exposed to the blood vessels are very minimal so to understand the anatomy of the talus itself it is better to look from the superior view so when you look from the superior view you can see the talar body like a cuboid over there from the talar body anteriorly rises the talar neck which attaches on to the talar head this is directed towards the medial side the talar body inferiorly projects on to a lateral process on the lateral side which is the largest process of the talar body and posteriorly we also have a posterior process which has two parts the medial tubercle and the lateral tubercle it is on to the lateral tubercle that the talofibular ligament is attached and it is on to the medial tubercle that the posterior deltoid ligament is attached there is a small medial process also on the medial side so these are the various parts of the talar body now coming to the inferior part of the talus so if you look you know that there are three articular surfaces one is the anterior the middle and the posterior articular surfaces for the calcaneum in between these articular surfaces you can actually see a funnel shaped structure over here so the funnel shaped structure has a cone which is known as the tarsal sinus and a narrower portion which is known as the tarsal canal why is this particular structure important this is the structure which lies inferior to the talar neck and this is the area where maximum amount of blood supply tries to enter into the talus bone so from the medial side we have blood vessels entering into this particular tarsal canal and from the lateral side blood vessels enter into the tarsal sinus and they make a sling of vessels which enter into the talus and supplying the entire talus this is another image which shows the extent of articular cartilage that is covered on the talus bone 